Hello, my name is Robert Simpson. I'm a sports science student at Solvay University. This presentation will form part of the assessment for practitioner and skill development. Um, it forms part of the report, which I've already completed, matching myself to a job role. Um, the presentation is basically going to be looking at a job role and how I'm going to work towards that job role, comparing myself um, to what I feel, what is needed within that job role using um, a lot of the personality tests that we took whilst in university. Um, the job role I've decided to go for is the strength and conditioning coach at Northampton Saints. Uh, the reason I've chosen this job is I've been lucky enough to work with a lot of um, strength and conditioning coaches in my own career and I find these are, these are the guys I've really connected well with and they've been able to help me um, progress as an athlete and uh, as a coach myself I think as well. Um, so it's, it's very much an area I really want to work within. Um, but looking at these job roles, I've actually found the I need a, I need a degree to work in this sort of field, and it's something I currently don't possess. So hence why um, I'm back at university and I'm wanting to get that two one in sports science and third year hopefully focus on the strength and conditioning pathway. Um, I'm just going to compare myself now to the role. Um, looking at the the, the uh, personality tests that were taken within university and see how I think I'm matching up and where I can improve on. Um, the first test that we took was the learning style. Um, the learning styles show that I was actually a reflector and this means I like looking at different perspectives. Um, I think carefully before making a decision this is going to be very important as a strength and conditioning coach. I'm going to have to assess different situations and look at every athlete as an individual and treat them as individuals because not every athlete is going to be the same so the decisions I make are going to have to be very carefully thought out. Um, however I sometimes do dislike performing in front, of, uh, in, front of other, in front of others, there's an area I will have to improve on if I'm going to be working with a team, especially a team of rugby players. I'm going to have to be confident in performing in front of those guys and we were taking group warm-ups, group cool-downs. I could probably work on this within actual, with actually at university by when I'm in lessons, having the confidence to speak up in front of my peers, go to the front of the class and uh, pa uh, participate in that way. Um, the next test was the personality test. It says I'm quite introvert um, but very stable. This um, basically means I'm very careful in my decisions I make However, I am reliable and thoughtful of others. Um, sometimes I can be very quiet, however, and as a result become unsociable in a few uh, in a new surrounding. Um, if I was going to go into a new role as a strength and conditioning coach, I can't afford to be that unsociable, that quiet guy. I'd need to go in there confident, not too over the top, but have the confidence in everything I'm saying is right. Um, the decisions again as I'm going to be making need to be careful ones I need to think about them so it's a, it's a positive on that side but I need to make sure I'm confident enough I can do this by integrating more again with people I don't know so again this comes back to university speaking out more in class I feel the leadership is um, coming out as participative and democratic I like to promote teamwork and again create sound decisions However, the negative on this one is I will allow another to take responsibility and make final decisions. If I'm going to be the strength and conditioning coach, I need to be the one that's leading that leading that gang. I need to be saying, right, okay, this is what we're doing. This is why we're doing it. And we're confident in the decisions. The Belbin's team inventory says I'm in, an implementer. This suggests I'm very efficient and self-disciplined. I also have a loyalty towards the team. Therefore, I don't mind taking on other jobs others dislike. Um, if you are working with a, a team environment there's a very strong bond there before I go into it so I'll be the one that's going into that so if I can show that I'm a very much a team player I think it would benefit me greatly. Um, however I can be closed off and inflexible towards others opinions if I feel I'm the one that's correct in certain situations. To improve this um, I would have to learn to, to, to be so, stop being so narrow-minded and so so um, I will be working with physios, the doctors, the head coaches of the club, so I need to make sure I take on their opinion 
and try and uh, put my own ego to the side to help improve. The skill analysis, which is the next one, is um, it was body kinesthetic. Um, it shows I'm a hands-on learner. I like to figure out how things are work, uh, how things work, and also learns by repeating tasks. Um, again, another bon bonus because I think within the job role, I'm gonna have to learn new things. I'm gonna have to learn how to uh, sort of think on my feet in certain situations because there may be times where I haven't got all the equipment I need. The that players are injured. I'm gonna have to be able to think on think on my feet with that one um, but sometimes I do find some academic um, way of challenging that's the uh, the weakness in this area and writing tasks can be difficult and uh, sometimes when the deadline's set I sometimes miss that so I'm gonna have to make sure I'm organized if I've got session plans that need to be written that's one area I think that will be maybe a weakness in that make sure I'm writing my session plans prior to the um, prior to the exit um, the training sessions and make sure the lads get in those okay the next one was intelligence okay so this came out interpersonal um with intelligence it shows that i can relate personal experiences situations um i'm suited to work and studying in groups so again i think it comes back to the team player sort of the, the uh the team player sort of feel i'm very strong in, in a team group and i can offer something when I'm comfortable within that team um, but relying on that that team environment can be a weakness I'm gonna to have to again be confident in my own um, opinions in my own knowledge so that's where gaining the knowledge from the degree will really help um, the emotional intelligence came out as very high and very strong on handling others feelings interactions and this gives me the ability to connect with individuals so if I'm gonna be working with those guys again it's always about working with the team i think this job role i'm gonna to have to connect with each individual somehow and i think that can actually be seen in my current job i'm a personal trainer i can always find common ground with people to work with um, but the weakness is sometimes i actually don't manage my own feelings and as a result i can be too critical if i'm too critical i'm not going to perform so i'm gonna to have to be confident get the knowledge be confident in my own decisions again to progress okay so now that I've looked at my own learning styles, I'm going to look at how the requirements of the job role and how I can sort of work towards them. There were three areas I really need to work on. Um, and the first one I feel was the 2-1. For the job role, I actually require a 2-1. Um, and that's why I'm on, on the degree. I'm studying towards that. And in the third year, I hopefully have the, the, uh, the opportunity to focus on the strength and conditioning pathway if I get the 2-1, get my head down, that's not going to be a problem. Um, the second one was the prior experience of the sports exercise and support within the team or individual. This is an area I don't have lots of um, experience with at the moment, but I do have a link at the IS. I've spoken to a current strength and conditioning coach there, Josh Fletcher, and he's more than happy for me to go down, see him working with these, uh, the individuals he has. And from that, I can hopefully get my foot in the door, get my name out there, pick up some experience. Even if it's taking a warm up, taking a cool down, that will really help me there. Um, that will be starting straight away. I'm going to be doing that over the Christmas period. So a very, very positive one. I'm going to try and keep that continuous. And hopefully, by getting my name out there in the next couple of years, it will give me a foot, my, my foot in the door for when I do actually finish my degree and hopefully I'll be able to pick up a job role. Um, the, the last one was the knowledge and being, the knowledge and skills with Microsoft Office. Okay, so I'm not the most computer savvy, so I could enrol at college. Um, there are some night courses located in the city centre of Manchester. They're not too much, it costs about £70 for a day. Improve my, um, my skills with the computer. And then that's just a little one that I think will help tick off a few more requirements um, within the job role. But as a whole, I feel that that getting a two-one, getting the prior experience is the um, is the big one for me. So again, working with Josh, getting my head down at university, and um, that's going to be the the real test for me. Um, other than that, I'm going to wrap up the uh, the presentation here. Thank you for your time. Cheers.